Excited ka na ba na i-register mo finally ang iyong SIM card starting sa December 27, 2022? So, ang gagawin mo nga lang naman is i-register mo yung mga SIM cards mo sa Smart, sa Globe, or dito, Telcos. Finally! Meron na tayong SIM card registration law. So, eto yung i-register mo ang iyong SIM card sa respective telephone companies mo. So, eto yung i-register mo yung SIM mo sa Smart, Globe, and Dito. So, in this video, I'm going to um, present you yung mga ways paano mo i-register ang SIM card mo. Yung mga requirements, tapos paano kapag uh, minor ka, foreigner ka, yung mga ganon. So, sa next clip, ibabahagi ko sa inyo yung mga simple steps nga lang naman paano mo i-register mo yung SIM card mo. So, sa starting yan sa December 27 and it is, I think, one week from now, December 22. So, next clip. Magbe-base tayo sa, ayan, informative na post ng Balitang Tanzenyo. So, in here, we're going to start with um, SIM card registration that will start on November December 27, sorry. Here, So, here's what you should know. So, from there, swipe natin. And dito, for SIM card registration for existing users, yung prepaid subscribers must register through Telco website. A Globe, Smart, and dito. So, all existing SIM cards must be registered within 180 days um, from effectivity of the SIM card registration app. So, until 26 ng April yan. Um, yung postpaid naman is uh, punta na lang kayo dun sa respective na telco um, and then um, dun kayo mag-register. Yan. Postpaid subscribers are required to confirm the info in the SIM register through the telco's website din para i-activate nyo yung postpaid na SIM nyo. Tapos, dito naman, for SIM card registration for new users. New SIM cards will be sold in deactivated mode starting December 27. Ayan. Subscribers can register for free through secure website provided by the telco. And then the telco will collect information, the following user info. So, ayan guys. Uh, full name, birthday, yung gender, present or official address, ID and ID number. Ayan. So, passport, PRC, pwede rin naman school ID, pero mas preferred yung government uh, issued ID. So, kapag business din, ayan, business name, business address, ayan, so full name of authorized signatories. Tapos dito naman, for SIM card registration sa mga minors, 18 or 17 years old and below, SIM card will be under the name of parent or guardian. <clears throat> And then minors will be required to present an ID and a parent or a guardian's consent. Ayan. So, pwedeng letter yan or basta um, samahan ng parent or guardian. <clears throat> and then, eto naman, kapag foreigner. So, foreigners are required to present the following. Full name, birthday, nationality, passport, address in the Philippines, type of travel, ayan, ID number. Or document presented. So, type of travel or admission document, ID number. Oh, ayan, ang dami. So, yan kapag foreigner. So, ito yung mga um, um, importante na information sa SIM registration. O, di ba? Ang dali lang. So, naipakita ko sa inyo yung mga requirements, tapos kung ano yung mga circumstances, paano kapag minor or foreigner. Ayan. And, syempre, today is December 22, 2027. Uh, one week from now, December 27, 2022, magiging available na yung mga webpage, yung registration websites, kung saan i-register mo yung number mo. So, pwede namang uh, more than one, more than two numbers ang i-register mo. Para naman, hindi yan madideactivate after April 23, 2023. Ayan. So, eto na yung next clip. Punta naman tayo dito sa Uh, KMGS Kapuso mo. Ayan. So, eto yung mga dapat yung tandaan. SIM card registration reminders. Here are the links to remember 
on December 27, 2022 for the SIM card registration. Ayan, di, ito yung mga link kung saan kayo magre-register. So, if you are dito subscriber, ayan. And then, kapag globe subscriber ka naman, tapos, and then, smart. Ayan. So, eto, reminders. Sa December 27 pa po, available ang mga link. So, where can I register my SIM card? So, ayan yung mga sinabi ko. Mag-register kayo dito. So, what are the requirement information for SIM card registration? So, upon registering your SIM card, you are required to provide the following personal information. Ayan, guys. Yung mga pangalan, address, birth, gender, yung number nyo. Tapos, who can access personal information provided SIM registration? Siyempre, ikaw. SIM registration law has explicitly, confidentially, um, ayan, yung non-disclosure provisions. And, ano nga ba yung mga IDs na pwede nyo i-present? Ito, oh, yung national ID, diverse license, UMID, yes, IS, senior citizen's card, passport, police clearance, NBI clearance, firearms license, PRC, voters, IBP, TIN ID, OWA, PWD card, government ID, school ID. So, ayan, no? So, Nabanggit ko din kanina yung mga foreign nationals. O, ito yung full name, national passport, Philippine address. Ayan. So, andyan yung mga requirements ulit para naulit ko na rin, no? Ayan. So, uh, ito ang dapat i-prepare mo. So, nakapost ko na rin to sa page ko and basahin nyo na lang sa caption. I understand na marami ang skeptical sa bagong panukalang ito. Pero hindi nyo ba alam na other countries ay ipinapatupad talaga yung SIM card registration law. Kasi, ito ay para maiwasan yung cybercrime. And marami talaga ang agree sa panukalang ito. And finally, dito sa Pilipinas, meron na tayong ganitong law. So, yes, for me, I understand kung meron pa rin skeptical, ayaw i-register kasi nga medyo na naiisip nila yung mga what if, what if na ganyan. Pero, syempre, in the near future, uh, expected na magiging uniform ang law na ito. Ayan. So, I hope na nasundan nyo yung, yung instructions, tsaka yung mga insights kung paano mag-register starting sa December 27, 2022. Kaya, I hope nakarelate din kayo and sana may natutunan din kayo dito sa video na ito. Kaya, thank you very much and happy holidays!